Hello and welcome to a new video. So due to popular demand, I'm going to show you how to make your own sky in Minecraft. Let's dive right into the action. We're going to go to our files app on the iPad and create a new folder. I'm going to name this folder sky texture as it is for our own sky texture. Then I'm going to the vanilla textures and copy the manifest JSON file. So I click on copy and I'm going to paste it in the sky texture folder. Here it is. Now we create a new folder which has to be called textures. Now we go into this folder and again create another folder. This is going to be called environment. This is important, you got to keep these names as I show you. In this manifest.json we'll find important information about the pack and we have to modify some of them. If you have seen my video about creating a texture pack you'll already know that we'll need some new UUID numbers and we'll get them from a web page called uuidgenerator.net. There we go for two version one UUIDs. So I put in here two and then I'm getting two UUIDs which I copy and paste into the JSON file. So we're gonna open and modify it. And there we are. So we change the first UUID here and then we're gonna have to change the second one. So I'm gonna, back, gonna go back to the page, copy the other one and of course paste it into the manifest JSON file. So the next step is optional. You can change the name here, for example, in the description and the name of the resource pack. I'm just going to put sky pack here, or let's put different sky pack. So we know that we have a different sky in this pack. Yeah, I'm going to change the language really quick. Different sky pack. And as for the name, I'm just going to put sky pack. Again, this step is totally optional. You don't have to do this. I'm just showing you what you can do here. And here again, the description different sky pack. And we save and exit the JSON file. Then we're going to go to our environment folder and create a new folder that's called um, overworld underscore cube map. There we go. In the next step we're gonna go to our vanilla pack and just copy the pack icon. So once again we just copy and then paste into our sky texture pack. In the next step, we're gonna go back to the vanilla resources, into textures, environment, and there, right on top, there is a file that's called clouds. It is uh, here. So once you find the clouds, you copy them, paste them into the textures environment. Well, the cube actually has to go into this and there you copy the cloud file. So the clouds are the clouds you can see in the game. You can modify them so you can change them the way you want. I'm opening this here in Affinity Photo and it looks like this. But in order to make 
a sky, we're gonna create a new image file. I'm doing this with Affinity Photo and this image file has to be 1024 pixels by 1024 pixels. Like this. And then we click on create. And this is gonna be one part of the sky. So I'm just gonna give you here a quick example of how it works so you can create your own sky texture with whatever you want. So I'm gonna make a background here. This is the color I choose and for practical reasons I'm gonna put a number on this background so you can understand how the sky works because the sky is actually a cube. This is also why we called our folder cube map because the sky is a cube and it has six sides. If you imagine a dice, you have numbers from one to six because there are six sides and the Minecraft sky actually works the same way. And you might have guessed already that this is our side zero of the sky cube. Now we have to export this as a PNG and the name of this file has to be cubemap underscore zero. So the game knows this is side zero of the cube map. Click on export and we save it in our sky texture environment overworld cube map. There we go. And now we just have to repeat the step for the other five sides. I'm just gonna accelerate this. The name are always cube map underscore and then zero, one, two, three, four, and five. And we export them all as a PNG into the same folder. And number five, and we're done. Now we're gonna check the overworld cube map and there they are, our six sides of the cube. Okay, now one more thing. You can of course change the pack icon. I've opened it here again in Affinity Photo. I'm just gonna choose a brush here to paint on it to show you how it works. It's totally optional and I'm sure you can do a lot better than I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna write sky on this one. So it's basically just the vanilla icon with sky written on it. Now we have to export it with the name pack underscore icon. It's a PNG and we're gonna save it into our sky texture folder. So there's already one, we gotta replace it and he kept both, so we're gonna eliminate one of them. And there we are. So now we're ready to go. We just have to zip the whole folder and turn it into a .mcpack file. If you're actually interested in this part, you can watch my video I made about how to make a texture pack and I'm explaining what exactly to do and I'm giving you there a shortcut to transform a zip into a MC pack. Now we're gonna copy the MC pack and put it into our resources folder in the Minecraft game folders and click on it. So Minecraft will open the texture pack and import it. Once this is done, we can click on play, create a new world and apply the sky texture pack and create the world, of course. Et voila, here are our cube sides 
as sky you can see two three four zero one and there's one side missing you might ask well you can maybe guess the logic there is zero one two three on the sides four in the sky and five must be on the bottom then it's not visible normally and by now you might have guessed how the sky cube works so this is all for today i hope this is helpful thanks for watching feel free to hit that subscribe button or to give me a thumbs up and see you in the next video bye